At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems and trading bots are performing. I know I've been missing a lot of months. Usually I do it every month. And my last one that I uploaded was March. The reason why I stopped was I thought you guys weren't finding value and you guys didn't like it. And I felt kind of um, just not great about sharing my profits or losses. But I read a lot of my Discord comments and you guys found a ton of value on the trades and what I'm thinking for the next month, what I'm going to run. So I'm going to bring it back up to speed. Today, we're going to be going over June 2022 and also post April and May at the end of the video as well. We're going to get back onto it, do it every month and just be fully transparent. No BS of how my trading systems are doing. Are they making money or are they losing money? Let's get started. Okay, so June 2022 results, unfortunately, I ended up losing $1,700.58, or sorry, $1,700, $1,758 and $0.17 cents, um, with a gross profit of $1,387 and a gross loss of $3,145. Uh, we made a total of 61 trades here with a 42% win ratio, which at the end of the day doesn't matter. Usually, this is the most important metric. My average trade, I lost $28. So yeah, June was a really, a really, really choppy month. Um, and yeah, just none of my systems were working. I can pull up the trades here. That's the uh, equity curve for the month. And you can see overall was mostly losing. Um, a lot of my systems that were running this month uh, were just, yeah, I wasn't seeing the volatility that I'm used to seeing. I made a couple of mistakes too. I think I started a couple strategies too soon. I should have let them run in paper for a bit longer. Usually when I develop a system, I like to run in paper for a month, uh, which I did for these systems, but um, maybe a month's a bit too short. So um, I didn't perform too well, but primarily this this month I was trading um, NQ futures, CL futures, uh, which oil and, and NASDAQ. Um, so yeah, not the greatest. Can't win every month. For July, we're doing good. So far, we're up. So when I released the July 2020 video, um, that was pretty decent. Uh, I mean, so far in July, we're, we're up. So I think we'll, we'll be in the positive. But yeah, not the best month. Um, biggest mistakes, I think, were starting some systems too early. Um, I had some like minor technical issues, like uh, I think twice or three times I had to synchronize the strategy, meaning that... Um, when I ran it, when I started the strategy, it was supposed to be in a position. And um, I synchronized it. So me meaning that it would submit a market order to kind of catch up into real time, you can do that into Ninja Trader. And uh, when I did that, um, obviously, the position fill wasn't the best was it wasn't what it was supposed to be. But um, yeah, anyways, that was, you know, only happened twice or three times. And I don't think that was, you know, I probably lost 50 or 100 bucks on that. But yeah, June was a really choppy month. We didn't see much volatility in uh, in NASDAQ or oil. July, or June, should I say. July, um, we're seeing a lot more volatility. So excited for that. But yeah, you can't win them all. Once again, I've said this multiple times, but commission showing as zero. Um, because I trade through interactive brokers, the commission template doesn't get filled in uh, in NinjaTrader, but there is commissions for sure. I'm, I'm, Trading futures, there is commissions for sure. So that was uh, June 2022. Let's go over May and uh, April and May because my last video I uploaded in March before I kind of decided not to make videos anymore, but I am, go I am going to now because I know it's a lot of you want it. So uh, let's pull up. I'll just do April 1st until uh, May 31st. Okay, so from April 1st to May 31st, I made $6,308. We had, wow, exactly 100 trades. Uh, interesting. Exactly 100 trades. My average trade profit was $63, which is awesome. I want that to be above 50, ideally. Uh, what else? We had a... So this is interesting. 8% win rate. So very interesting. So there's the equity chart. I remember this in May, too. Um, yeah, we had... I had a really big swing trade. Awesome to see. Um but yeah, at one point I was up eighteen thousand um, dollars. I took a lot more risk then, and there was also a lot more volatility. So definitely um, some big swings that month, and and end of April as well. But uh, yeah, uh, overall we're up for the year, I believe, and um, going to keep pushing forward. 
working on more strategies as usual, kind of dipping my toes into commodities markets more and more, energy strategies and, and grain strategies, agricultures, softs, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, overall, I'm up for the year. Um, I do want to start trading more more of my capital. You know, I don't feel like I'm using all my capital with some of my trading systems. I know I'm not. I'm probably only using, um, you know, if, if all my systems were in a trade at once, I would be using all of it, but it's just never a reality. They're never all in a trade at once. So um, I need to keep building more systems, more diversified systems. Now I'm leaning towards um, some swing trading systems that are always in the market, meaning it's always in a position. Um, something I've seen and kind of interested in is systems that are always in a trade, you can really benefit when there's volatility because you're, you're already in that position where if you're buying and selling and you're only holding for a day or it's only intraday, uh, you kind of have to, you know, hope that there's volatility within that small time frame. But when you have a system that's always in a trade, you can really benefit from those swings. So I want to start, you know, developing new systems with that in mind. Uh, so I'm going to start with ES. I want to start uh, try that with oil as well, and um, probably like natural gas or something like that, and see how uh, how it can perform. But anyways, yeah, June. Uh, once again, June was a loss. April to May was a, a solid win, um, and expect a video for July 2022. Going to be showing, keep showing you guys this for, for full transparency on how much you can make or lose per month, um, and and just you know being honest with you guys because I think you're going to see the most value um, from that. So summers are usually a choppy month. Hopefully July, July is picking up, and I think August and September we'll see some major volatility pick up too, which I'm really excited for. And I think we'll have some big months. So, anyways, hope you found value in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like seeing these monthly um, return videos. And if so, I'll keep making them. You know, I know on my Discord, a lot of you like to see them. So I'll keep uh, making them for you guys. And yeah, have a good week, guys. Bye.